What's up everyone, this is Wasim from the Tech Boys and I'm going to do a walkthrough of Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich on the AT&T Galaxy Note. So the uh, ice cream sandwich update is now rolling out for the Galaxy Note on AT&T. Ice cream sandwich does include a lot of improvements in the Galaxy Note such as Samsung's new suite of applications, uh, speed improvements and capabilities. So first, uh, let's start with the lock screen. So uh, the lock screen does include the new Roboto font and that's throughout the entire operating system. You can also include the weather information um, and you can move that to the top, the middle, or the bottom. And to unlock swipe to screen, uh, that is about the same. As for the user interface of TouchWiz, it's about the same. We're really not going to notice much difference other than the Roboto font. Um, one thing I do love that Samsung has included in TouchWiz, and this is also included in the Galaxy S2, is uh, percentage for battery life. So that is a really great feature. Um, there's no, no need to download a third-party app to get your battery percentage in your status bar or even a widget. As for widgets, widgets are about the same. One new widget I did find is for the, uh, the S Memo and S Pen application. So this is a new widget. You can easily create your note, a text message, insert a picture, or a microphone. If we were to pull down the notification tray, uh, you can see that Samsung has added the power saving widget right at the top, as well as your quick access to your settings. And as for the settings, the same as every other ice cream sandwich device, it are grouped as wireless and networks, device, personal, system, and if I go to about phone, you can see that it's running Android 4.0.4. And then you can see the one-handed operation uh, for dialer, calculator, and the pattern lock. So what that does is instead of having the whole dialer right at the middle, they would group it right at the bottom right. So if you're just using it right-handed, it would be on the right side. If you're using it on your left, it would be on the left side. And of course, there's a new data usage that's built into Ice Cream Sandwich, a NFC and Android Beam, and we will talk about that a little bit later. And with Android 4.0, you can also download exclusive 4.0 applications like Google Chrome. Of course, you can also use the standard web application that comes built into the device, but Chrome is a lot faster and um, a lot easier to use than the standard web. All right, so if we go to the keyboard, you can see we have the Android keyboard here. Uh, if we swipe down and go to input method, we can switch into the Samsung keyboard as well. And you can see there's a dedicated row for numbers with the Samsung keyboard, which is really cool. And then you can also do one-handed operation, just like I said with the dialer. And what that does is everything will be shifted to the right. So let's say you're using the phone like this. It just makes it a lot easier to get to all parts of the keyboard without having to stretch. So that's a really great and innovative feature by Samsung. And we can easily take that out. And of course you can use the, uh, the S Pen as well. And swipe and swift key something I downloaded for the device. And if we go into the application drawer, uh, you can see all the uh, go standard Google applications like Gmail, Maps, and Google Plus, as well as Play Store and Play Music, um, and all the AT&T applications like Code Scanner, Family Maps, My AT&T, Live TV. And we can see a new application is S Note. So not much has changed with S Memo, but S Note is a brand new application. So I'll go ahead and do a walkthrough of S Note. 
So right at the top we can see some icons right at the top. So this would be your your input method for the pen. You can easily change from pen to paintbrush, pencil, and highlighter. If we tap right next to that. This would be your productivity tools, formula match, shape match, handwriting to text, and knowledge search. So I'm just gonna go through each one and uh, show you what it does. First one is formula match. So of course it will just uh, answer math questions for you. I'm just gonna do a simple one. Uh, I'm gonna go 5,000 divided by three. And then I just go hit on search and it will go through Wolfram Alpha. And 5,000 divided by three. And then they'll give me the decimal approximation right there. And then we can easily jump back to SNOP. Again, that is Formula Match. Get into an AT&T store and try it. It's really cool. Um, next thing is Shape Match, which is pretty straightforward. It can identify shapes for you as you draw them. Even with a stylus, it's not the most accurate. So if I try to draw a circle, it will automatically make it the perfect shape for me. The same with a triangle, square, or I made a, we can try the square again. Boom, just like that. And it will do even the most unique shapes. So that is a little look at the shapes. And handwriting to text is pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and write and it would insert it into a text. So if I write circle right here. Whoops, let me go back. So circle, triangle, And you can easily move them and go back. So again, it's just, just a demonstration. You can easily go back, customize each one. And there are just a ton of features on here. And the next one is knowledge search. Just write it out. It will do the same exact thing as this. And it will search your wolf from alpha. And you can, answer, you can ask questions like who wants the fastest mammal? Um, how tall is the Empire State Building? Things like that. So that is S note. All right, and the last feature I wanna go through and sh demonstrate is Android Beam. Now uh, Android Beam was introduced with the Galaxy Nexus and I feel like it never really has taken off. I never seen it used in public, but I feel like the more and more devices that are upgraded to Android 4.0 and the more people learn about it, I can see that really taking off. So Android Beam basically if you need to share a web page with a friend, just go ahead and open that web page. It can be something like you're showing him a picture, um, an ad or a website, a blog, a eBay listing, Amazon. So all you have to do is take two Android 4.0 enabled devices. One of the devices will have the thing you want to share with the other one just on. And just go ahead and put them back to back and touch the beam and that will send it to the other device and when I flip it back it will be loading that web page and this could be the same with contacts um, I can really see it take off with YouTube videos um, if you're watching a video on this device and you want to share it with another friend you just go ahead and take that YouTube so if you want to share a YouTube video just do the same thing and then it will ask you to share the information and just tap to beam it. And they will pick it up on the second device. And again, it works most of the times, but of course in the video it will slow down. I've done a lot of demonstrations on this and it's a really cool feature. Um, we're just waiting for Android 4.1 to hit so you can do uh, pictures and videos. 
All right, thank you for watching our first look of Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich on the Samsung Galaxy Note. Again, this update is rolling out. I went ahead and updated via the Samsung Keys application that is available for Windows as well as Mac users. And let me know what you think about the update. Does this make you want to purchase a Galaxy Note? Or is it better to hold out for the Galaxy Note 2? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.